Well, hello everyone, it's Liam Carrison here, and we are reacting to Season 2 of Loki as uh, it's been just a little over two years since uh, we last left things off with uh, Loki arriving at the TVA, albeit things are a little bit different, of course, after uh, him and Sylvie went to encounter He Who remains and uh, after that confrontation of course we um had like i said things being a little bit different with um a giant ass statue in the tva and of course mobius not recognizing who he is so yeah it was really really good though season one of loki i really enjoyed it it was um just superb stuff all around and you know a show that is uh, right up my alley, uh, has me excited to see what season two might offer, um, especially with uh, everything going on, of course, as we are building, I guess, towards the Kang Dynasty, um, so... Yeah, but not just that, though, but obviously we were left on that little cliffhanger at the end of season one, so yeah, it'll be very interesting to divulge into that. So yeah, I'm looking forward to getting uh, back into the groove of Loki, so with that said, why don't we kickstart season two? It's episode one for this season. Let's go. What is going on, Mobius? It's me. I don't know you. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> I hate when he does that. <laughs> I'm just getting attacked with like uh, clothes vibes. Oh god. I'm fine. Yeah, I'm fine. Morning. She might not be fine. <sighs> yeah, she's not fine. No, she's not fine. Loki. Yeah, okay, okay, so, okay, okay. Know me. Wait, no. Okay, so he's zipped to the past and back to the present, I guess. Has it always been there? The crack? It's been there as long as I can remember. Oh, it's in the past. It's Doctor Who times. <laughs> Where's Mobius? There's a crack in the wall. B-15. Buzz and then he disappeared. I don't understand. He disappeared right in front of me. He looked like he was in pain. Maybe Miss Minutes can locate him. No, let's not get Miss Minutes here. You just saw Hey, y'all! Miss Minutes, <laughs> it's not working. Hey, I have a question. <laughs> there it, oh my god! Mobius. That's enough to terrify someone! You just missed him, bud. It's a war room. But does he have no recognition if he's like just blurring between uh, different points in time? Shit. Shit. Oh, can. To explain. Make it make sense. So again, she's in a very, very, very high power. <laughs> <laughs> like a good omens. As long as you don't have Derek Jacoby here. <laughs> Cause that's that will spell trouble. Oh, quite a marvel. I will be proud to lead with you. And under whose authority did you make the call to stop there pruning we go, branches? That we didn't have time. The truth under the veil. It just keeps getting mind, more mind-blowing. That is so your lies! What happened at the end of time? Find Sylvie. She's the reason we're in this mess. Oh shit. Oh shit. F's in the chat for Sylvie in a moment, folks. What if you want Sylvie? Oh, Docs, don't worry about it. Maybe he wasn't. I mean, she was convinced he was. This would be a chain event, like killing Before him. Mobius. And she kicked me through a time door. Wow. Well, and hell breaks one. loose. It was a draw. You both kicked each other through time doors simultaneously? <laughs> no. I was in the past. 
What do you mean in the past? Where in the past? Here, here, the past TVA. And, and it makes sense why they don't remember him in the past, because his memory's gone. To me. It's impossible. It's possible, maybe. No, it's it's not. Not. <laughs> like that! Who's lying? It, it's terrible. It looks like you're being born or dying or both at the same time. It's really, it's freaking out. Yeah, that's a good description of it. It looks like he's being pulled apart. How does it look? <laughs> Record it for him. He might understand why terrific. I'd rather not. Where are you taking me? Sorry, oh, we might have to beat. be dealing with a million of them. I have no memory of having my memory wiped. Are you sure you know your guy? Yeah. It's just right you up know here. what? Nor do I. Do you have memory of having your memory wiped? Welcome to the Twilight Zone, folks. That's like a nickname I have. Yeah. Wow. How long has it been? How long has it been? Uh, he has no freaking clue. Loki sensing it. Hundred years. Holy shit! It feels like a thousand, right? Yeah. What other guys? What other guys? It's just OB. It's just OB. Yeah. I love how he's talking out of his ass. Oh, hang on. Oh, oh, hold on, OB. Oh, okay. The whoop order is really piled up. If I take a break, so I just keep at it forever. No sleep. No sleep. 400 years! Yeah. You've seen that? Yeah. Can you fix that? No. It's impossible to in TVA. I know, but we just saw it happen. But it's possible. Yeah. I'm having trouble reconciling that. I love OB so much. He is amazing already. Oh! Playing about time slipping. How did I not remember that? Wait, is he talking to you in the past and you're just now remembering it? Wow. That makes perfect time. sense. Time. There's no flaw in that logic. <laughs> so you remember. What did you do? This were the past. We were. This is the... Uh, never mind. OB, look, for the sake oh, of argument... Oh, this is my jab! This is my jab! If it were possible to time slip in the TVA, how might it's one not. of the... If understand. it were, hypothetically. But, uh, theoretically. Or theoretically. If it were possible to time slip in the TVA, how, how to be quick about it? But if you spent too long in it, that kind of temporal energy will peel the skin right off of you. Wait, I, Oh, you nice. You're too bad. And now you're talking about me getting my skin peeled off of me? Oh, not too bad compared to what Loki has to do. Why? What's Loki got to do? Oh, Why have they ripped myself from every thread of time and space? All at once. Have you heard about how if you fall into a black hole, you turn into spaghetti? No. Good. The less you know about that, the better. Don't be spaghetti. <laughs> Else just get cerebro. <laughs> Tense. Now, wait. It's now, but now isn't for a little bit. We still gotta get Mobius into position. But first, Mobius. Skin. Loki's <laughs> out there and launch the extractor. But pull Loki from the time stream before I need to close the blast. If you're too late. You will be lost to time forever. And Mobius Shit, so yes, will lose all of his skin. Okay, <laughs> you've got about an hour. Oh. You've got about five minutes. Oh, anyway, wow! I'm gonna get everything ready. Okay. When I use this thing, I might not make it. Shit. Can't be doing that when the time is right. He'll make it back. He always he's Loki. He always makes it back. Oh, he's in the future. You will age away. You will age away, and you'll get very old, and all your skin will get peeled away, and you will die. Oh my God! Oh! Is this cracked? Oh no! Oh yeah, well, duct tape fi fixes everything, so... Okay. <laughs> Ready to see some hoofing like you've never seen before. Oh. Holy shit. That is a journey. Oh. 
Okay. Oh. Oh. Here we go. He doesn't want an OB. The fact that he counted three, three times. He doesn't want to go down to one. Oh no. There you are. There we go, there we go. Yeah, yeah, your, your faith is uh Oh, 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 my! Oh, shit! I don't buy it. Good stuff. Good stuff. Damn. That was great. Like, especially the... Uh, intense circumstances that came about with this episode, especially with uh, Loki um, having a sick back. Yeah, it was really like, and, and the stakes there for Mobius as well. Um, yeah, they didn't exactly shed light on the dire like consequences that could happen, but yeah, but I'm wondering. Who actually pruned, uh, I guess, that Loki? Because I don't know if it was Sylvie. It might have been the Loki from the future. And I'm getting, I'm, mm, I'm kind of getting potentially Doctor Who vibes here. Um, I mean, it would be the first time in this show because of the fact that. There are so many references that you could just associate to Doctor Who and, you know, it would work because of the type of show this is. But, um, I'm just thinking back to Series 6 or the, I guess, scrapped Series 5 plan had David Tennant stayed in Doctor Who. Um, and what we might be dealing with. Um, the Moffat kind of loop, I guess you could dub it. So, yeah, I'm just checking if there's going to be any, uh... Yeah. Actually, there is a kind of a credit scene here, so... Mid-credit, post-credit, whatever you want to call it. I want to try everything. Okay. Yes, it's a mood. It's a mood. I will try. <laughs> Just not McDonald's though. <laughs> like no shade, but yeah, all you can eat. That's me. That that's that's me. How is she going to be paying for that though? I don't think she's got the money. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I don't. I don't. I don't think she's got the money to pay for everything. So. Yeah, how is she going to pay for the shit? <laughs> oh, that was fun, though. That was a trip. Um, and, again, this show is just right up my alley in terms of, um, you know, how, how, you know, great it is and all of that and, you know, how timey-wimey. So, yeah, but I do have a feeling... Um, about who, yeah, who who may have proved um, Loki, um, who, yeah. I'm thinking it might have been um, fu uh, future Loki, and and obviously the Sylvie we saw uh, saw entering McDonald's. What a sentence! The Sylvie we saw was just after her confrontation with um, he who remained. So what what is going to happen with the Loki that we've got right now? Um, and, and, and the Sylvie, it's all going to be working towards the end of the season, right? So, um, where they're going to work together, uh, and yeah, they, they, cause obviously Loki, Loki was, um, was running around, uh, 
the, I guess the present Loki, the one that got pruned, should I say. He was ru um, running around the future like a headless chicken. So I'm assuming future Loki, maybe. Because uh, I don't think it was Sylvie. Um, so, yeah, I'm thinking um, future Loki would have been looking to to um, look for his past self. And there we go. So, yeah. That's my theory at the minute. I don't think it was Sylvie. Um, although she know she she would have like whatever the case, it does seem like Sylvie knows. Okay, well this Loki has to be pruned. Whatever the case, whether it's her hand or whether it's future Loki's hand, they know that this Luke, uh, Loki needs to be dealt with um, in order to fix what is um, what was happening for this Loki. So yeah, um, but that is just my two cents. But, yeah, great stuff. Oh, it's just a blast to get back into this, though. Um, yeah, it was just really, really great to follow up from what, obviously, the last, of well, the last episode of Season 1 presented us with in terms of dealing with that kerfuffle, because uh, I think we were all in the unknown on, you know, what exactly what was going on. Was it a new um, timeline, or... Um, yeah, did uh, did their encounter with He Who Remains uh, kind of reset the board or something like that? So, yeah. And, you know, whereas we got a bit of answers in regards to, um, you know, certain things like uh, the fact that all of the TVA once upon a time had their memories shebanged, um, it was just really, really great to see how things uh, came about in terms of Loki zipping to the uh, past and present uh, and that kind of giving us a bit of clarity to what happened at the end of um, season one. He travelled back into the past uh, where um, obviously Kang was, um, or he who remains, should I say, was still um, pretty much the face of, of the place, uh, quite literally. Um, so... Yeah. And there would have been a moment in time um, within, I guess, uh, those 400 years, because th there seemed to be that indication it was uh, around 400 years, uh, given the fact that um, he met, uh, oh, like we had Loki in the past, zip back to when he met with um, um, Obi, who was just a delight. But um, there would have been a moment where he, um, uh, I'm, I'm guessing where... You know, the TVA got a bit of an idea in terms of what was happening. It, 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 they, they got a bit inquisitive and all of that. And then he decided to uh, not just memory wipe everyone, but also keep his uh, identity in the unknown, just in case uh, we have this shit show again and he'll have to wipe their memories again. So, yeah, I'm guessing... Um, some people got a bit inquisitive about um, his plans and all of that, and he then he just decided to memory wipe everyone, put the timekeepers at the face of the TVA, uh, and, you know, we don't need to worry about this whole kerfuffle happening again. Um, so, yeah, because there is the chance... Um, you know, it could be like the good place. Uh, it, it it could literally be like the good place, especially. Uh, I think it was episode two of season two. And if you know, you know. I'm not going to say what, but you'll know if you've watched the show. So yeah, but it would literally be like that. Um. So yeah, it was really, really uh, great stuff to get a bit of uh, explanation in terms of what was happening there. Um. As well as, of course, what was uh, to happen in regards to fixing uh, Loki's uh, little predicament of jumping from the past and the present. Um, and I just really loved the um, flashes to the past and present, where we had Loki interact with Obi, and then uh, Obi interacts with uh, Mobius two different uh, times. But still the same instructions. Uh, it was just really, really great stuff. Of course, there were some macabre moments there um, in regards to what could potentially happen to, to poor Mobius. So, yeah, and um, the fact that Loki had to um, essentially prune himself. So, yeah, but um, it was really, really, um, yeah, it was really, really great stuff uh, to see. So, 
Yeah, and like I said, Obi is just a delight. I really loved his... Like, you have Mobius, you have Loki there, and you have Obi there, and the chemistry was just fire. It was just great. So, yeah. But, um... Yeah, it was uh, just really, really great. Like I said, that uh, moment where uh, Loki needed that uh, temporal um, aura uh, thingy above that extractor. Yeah, that, explana that explanation bit uh, between both the past and the present, I guess, um, uh, events, should I say, was, was pretty, pretty great stuff. So, yeah, and... Of course, you have, and and not just that though, but the I I would say the design of the, um of of the temporal loom was just really really, I don't know, it was really beautiful. Um, of course, high stakes, of course, um, especially for Mobius, but, um, yeah, it was really really great. Uh, it was really really great visually to see, as well as of course getting an understanding about how overloaded it was, like so many eggs and one basket or so many um i guess timelines in one loom yeah that's that's the temporal way of 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 ex of um explaining so many eggs in one basket but um yeah um it was uh like just piecing everything together in regards to loki trying to fix himself was just was just wonderful stuff because it gives us a very very tasty story for the future uh potentially in a f i mean i say if the future it's only going to be a few weeks time of course because uh with loki it only has well five more episodes left to go but still i always love these kind of stories where it comes to um potentially a grandfather paradox um so like I said, when it comes to... Because uh, there's not just a matter on who actually pruned Loki, but also um, who was calling as well. Because that room... I'm, I'm, I'm not sure if that's going to be Mobius or, or someone like that, or, or maybe OB, but someone... Because uh, this obviously took place when everything was going to shit, apparently, in the TVA. But, um, yeah... There is that idea in, inside my head that thinks that this is Loki that pruned uh, himself. And then we're going to get to that moment where uh, the Loki that we have right now is going to be um, the one that will prune Loki. Timey-wimey, I know. So, But like I said, this whole kind of scenario is something that I just jammed to. Uh, especially since it's giving Doctor Who vibes. Uh, obviously, with Series 6... Um, there is that kind of vibe anyways with Lake Silencio. Uh, obviously, if you've seen uh, the first episode of Series 6 of Doctor Who, you'll know what I'm talking about, especially if you've, of course, completed Series 6. But um, there was also this plan in regards to Series 5 of Doctor Who had David Tennant stayed because uh, there was that idea that David Tennant would stay for Series 5. Um, where we would first encounter him um, where he would appear later in the series, uh, regenerating and all of that, uh, because he would only do one more series and that would be it. So, yeah, but when we initially, when we f started off with series five, we would first start off with the Doctor from, I think it would be episode 13 of series five, um, meeting a young Amelia Pond. And then um, after, you know, that, uh, confrontation we'll start with the earliest point of series five of the doctor so uh, and it and series five would be all about getting to that moment and it's the same thing with this episode of loki so um where we are going to get to that moment where um uh, loki gets proved by potentially future because i don't think it's sylvie um but I do think uh, there, there's obviously a, I guess, water under the bridge um, vibe between Loki and, and Sylvie. Uh, given their last kerfuffle, um, which I really, really loved uh, that moment of as well, when um, he explained what went down when uh, both of them went uh, to confront He Who Remains. But yeah. Um, it was really, really uh, great stuff. It was really, really uh, fun stuff in regards to um, just uh, having having that moment come about because it's going to have you uh, guessing. It could it be Loki from the future? It could it be Sylvie? Because um, I don't think it is, but um, 
you know, they could uh, pull a complete twist on us um, where it could be neither of them. But I, 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 I certainly feel like it will definitely be uh, Loki. Uh, Loki was looking for um, a stick, um, obviously, uh, to complete the plan um, once Mobius was done. It was green light. Uh, it was green lit, and um, he was still in the dark. So obviously, when we come to that moment um, in a future episode, both Sylvie and Loki are going to be like, "Okay, where's my past self?" Uh, because he's looking for a time stick, and um, yeah. Um, so and and it gets to a point where they're going to have to look for Loki as he's running around, like I said, like a, a headless chicken in the TVA, and yeah. So. But yeah, it was ultimately a really, really superb first episode. Um, so yeah, it was very, very fun. Uh, of course, we also got a bit of uh, explanation in regards to uh, Renslayer and um, uh, He Who Remains. They have that, um, you know, relationship where it gets a bit intimate. So yeah, but I think that was... Um, expected anyways wasn't it because of the fact that uh, it was like that in the comics and uh, a lot of people speculated okay it's going to be like that isn't it in this show so yeah but um yeah overall good stuff so i will see you guys next time hope you guys enjoy this reaction you can check my videos on the right if you want to check out more of my content you can also subscribe to my media feeds and channel if you want to hope you guys enjoyed this reaction hope you guys take care and i'll see you guys next time toodles <laughs>